No way. No way. We found it. We found it, baby. Yup, that's it. No way. No way. We found them. This whole this whole little stream right here is just littered with them. <laughs> we found them. We found them. Today we are hunting for wildflowers. It is now officially springtime. It's such an exciting time. I'm obsessed with wildflowers. I love wildflowers, man. <laughs> hunting for wildflowers can be extremely rewarding when you find them, but when you don't find them, it can be also really depressing <laughs> because chances are you're gonna spend a lot of time, hours of persistence walking and exploring around different areas. And it can be a real bummer when you don't find them in the end and you, you don't get any good photos, but that's also what can make it extremely rewarding is having that perseverance and consistency in getting outdoors getting out to that beautiful nature and just exploring, being out engaged with it, uh, there's there's really no loss there. So it can be a real bummer when you don't find them, but honestly, at the end of the day, you still spent time outdoors. So in this video, I'm gonna take you guys with me and we're looking for the elusive Eastern skunk cabbage. I don't know what the actual real name is. Simplocarpus fetidoes. Sim Simplocarpus fetidoes. Simplop camp jamf nam nah. Anyways, it's more commonly known as just the skunk cabbage, and I'll throw some pictures up. It's, it's just a, such a unique, one of those alien looking uh, flowers, and this flower in particular is really interesting because it has this thermogenic effect where it can kind of create its own heat. And so in the spring when there's still snow on the ground, it creates its own heat and gets rid of that snow so it can bloom earlier. And the reason it's referred to is the skunk cabbage is because it gives off this disgusting odor that uh, deters its its predators away or attracts pollinators. Let's just go walk around and see what we can find and if we don't end up finding them in the end I'll still share some tips with you guys uh, about how to photograph wildflowers and get really good photos but let's just go take a walk around explore around and uh, let's hopefully see if we can find some. guys we did it we found the skunk cabbage i'm so stoked i really thought i wasn't gonna find it there for a minute but uh we ended up finding it in the end and honestly this place right behind me and right behind you guys behind the camera they're everywhere like they're literally everywhere and once you recognize how big they are and what they look like you start to see them everywhere and it's like holy cow they're there there and so i'm just super stoked that we ended up finding them and now that i know where they grow here naturally i'll be able to come here year after year and uh, if I want to get more and more photographs I know where they are they look so cool in person just the overall shape of them with the the shape of the chimneys and I really like the colors too that that green spotted red pattern um, it just looks really cool and it just kind of looks like another alien like wildflower when you're in these sites where wildflower grows you want to be really careful and you really want to watch uh, every step and you don't want to step on them that might sound obvious Obvious to some people but I, I always just like saying that because you and your friends are coming into these locations and you're stepping on stuff it might disturb the the sensitive place where they grow and they might not grow back next year so when you come to these areas just be just be on go the whole time and just be kind of cautious where you're stepping look where you're stepping and uh, try not to step on them so thanks again guys so much for tuning in and uh, I really hope you guys like today's video and checking out these really cool wildflowers and uh, yeah I'll uh, I'll see you around in the next video hopefully that's a wrap